As we all know, there are some amazing machines in this world that do a great number of different things. That's why today we'll be covering a number of these for you to learn more about. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Panther low loaders have gained popularity among a long list of low loaders. These can transport payloads weighing 80 to 100 tons. A unique lifting system is attached to the trailer's rear wheels, which lowers or raises the unit as needed. The Panther Series 2 low loaders are not just stable, but also have a high ground clearance and can be operated remotely. The Savannah Global Model 1720 is an amazing stump puller tractor attachment. It's able to pull stumps 4 to 23 inches in diameter under a variety of soil conditions. After removal, the rotary rake tumbles the stumps into windrows free of soil to be burned or ground in the field. At an optimal drive speed of 3 to 4.5 miles per hour, it is able to cover 3 to 4 acres per hour. JCB's Fast Track Tractor Series is on its way, setting new world records as the fastest production tractors in the world. Fast Track 1 can hit speeds of 103.6 miles per hour, and the new Fast Track 2 can now hit speeds in excess of 150 miles per hour. Here, it's seen moving with a GIMI snowplow attachment. Everyone who tries to learn to roller skate tries to walk while holding someone's shoulder. Sleipner's one-of-a-kind transportation system is based on the same idea. When attached to the chains of a crawling crane, these units function similarly to rolling skate shoes. Then, to transport the machine, support is required, which is provided by placing its bucket arm in the trailer. If you think this was accomplished through a cheap trick, you'd be wrong. These transportation systems are 100% effective, they save 85% of the time and 50% of transportation costs. The T2A2 is known as the world's second largest dump truck. 
The empty T2A2 weighs 240 tons, which is equal to the weight of 130 standard cars. To transport it along the road, National Group decided to remove its wheels before the loading. Then, a road rail powered by two powerful trucks is used to carry it. Police helped escort this beast throughout its journey. Con cranes reach stackers are made to reach the highest areas, able to handle 10 to 46 tons of empty containers. Intermodal handling of up to 45 tons and barge handling of 45 tons with industrial handling of 35 to 80 tons. The mobile boat hoist by Marine Travel Lift is the boat lifter you need to ease all of your problems. It is able to lift power boats, sailboats, tugs, and fishing boats with a lifting capacity of 75,000 kilograms or 165,000 pounds. The intelligent readout system, mechanical 90 degree steering wheel, makes it a lifter with a lot of muscle of its own. With an 88 to 154,000 pound payload, this slag pod carrier carries out independent pickup and set down of slag pods. Having low maintenance costs and dumping angles of up to 130 degrees, it is a device that is extremely easy to operate. It has 300 horsepower, being up to 15 feet high and 35 feet long. The BOMAG BMP8500 is an articulated, radio-controlled, multi-purpose compactor. With an operating weight of just under 1.6 tons, the multi-purpose compactor achieves outstanding compaction results in soil compaction in trench, sewer, and pipeline construction. It is robust enough to bear any accidents. You can even throw heavy stones on it, or it can be dropped off from a height. However, it has an AI system for the safety of others that makes it stop when someone is close to it.
The Backhus A38 achieves maximum output in a wide range of applications, including green waste composting and the treatment of contaminated soils. It offers three tracked versions of its windrow turners to provide the best possible match to the ground. Rubber pads are commonly used on asphalt or concrete surfaces. For unpaved terrain, a double grouser steel shoe is used. The steel shoe wears less, whereas the rubber pad version is easier to replace and thus less expensive. From Lindsay, a road zipper on the Golden Gate Bridge. In certain regions, traffic can be quite dense at different times. Particularly for crossing this bridge, there are separate rush hours in both directions. Before rush hour comes, the road zipper moves these barriers from one side of the road to the other. When this occurs, a lane is removed from one side while one is added to the other, giving more room for traffic. I personally think it's pretty satisfying to watch it move all of those pieces in a wave. Up next from Liber, a ship-mounted excavator collecting silt from a lake bed. Most of the excavators that we get to see are massive tracked vehicles that work on a construction site. These, however, do not float very well. When an excavator is needed to be used offshore, a system such as this one can be employed. The rotating arm of the excavator is mounted onto the rear of the ship with significant reach and lift capacity. Though not commonly employed, they're most useful when you need to collect something in a shallow body of water. This tractor-mounted sod peat cutter is renowned for its high rate of production. It is capable of producing up to 9 to 11 tons of sod peat per hour. Various lengths of cutting blades are available, depending on the depth of a customer's peat bog, i.e. short booms for shallow peat and longer blades to reach the better quality black peat. The cutting blade is fitted with a hydraulic pressure relief valve and chain protection at the bottom of the cutting boom preventing damage should the machine meet an obstruction. First up is the Comtech Wood Shredder. No matter how much wood you have, it'll break it down into a fine particulate. Here we have another model, for rubber. Sharp cutting blades and a powerful diesel engine make Comtech machines incredibly versatile. This heavy ship is docking in Melbourne, Australia. It arrived with a Liebherr PR776, the world's largest hydrostatic dozer. Because of its intelligent driveline and hydraulic systems, the dozer provides class-leading performance and constant ease of control. 
It is packed with cutting-edge features, not limited to its uncompromising safety for drivers, a hydrostatic travel drive that automatically adjusts the operating speed to the load conditions, and a 768 horsepower engine for tough mining and extraction operations. The blade on the PR776 is mounted very close to the mainframe. This achieves the best torque and assures optimal filling to the edge. The mainframe is constructed using a proven box section design, which provides maximum torsional stiffness and optimal absorption of forces. To put it simply, it's remarkable. The Talon 2000 We're going to show you a machine that has revolutionized the process of fusing large diameter thermoplastic pipes. Its powerful jaws tightly grip a 78 inch diameter pipe after which a facer unit fits the ends of the two lines together. Lastly, a heater fuses the attachment area by heating. The Talon 2000 is capable of lifting a pipe from the ground, positioning it and moving it along the pipeline. In a nutshell, the Talon 2000 is quite a remarkable machine. The Svetruck TMF32-22 is a powerful log stacker that is surprisingly simple to use. Grapple sizes range from 8 to 9.5 square meters. It has 360 degree rotation and has unmatched accuracy while rotating longitudinally. The machine has been developed to offer an optimal work environment for the operator while also promoting high production capacity. The overarching goal in its design has been supreme safety for its operators and to maximize efficiency for the duration of their shift. Deep driven piles are the basic foundations that hold large building structures. The heads of piles are cropped to join the upper structures of the building. This process is simply known as pile cropping. For such a task, the SV400 is nearly ideal. It takes power from the hydraulic pump of a mounted backhoe or full revolving excavator. Its inner part has four drills that break the square shaped piles from all sides.
the Teledipper arm. It is 30 meters long and can be used on a 35 ton excavator with a 1.5 cubic meter bucket. These are specifically designed for construction works where a depth reach of around 140 feet is required. The arm has hydraulic support and slide rollers for telescopic features. A camera mounted on the arm aids in the operation's execution. Almost every construction project starts with soil compaction, but this sometimes causes cracks in nearby walls and floors. To solve this problem, the SBV was devised with a unique directional vibratory mechanism. Its vibratory forces only impact in the vertical direction. They proved it by putting a water glass nearby and applying a 160 kilonewton compression force at a rate of 70 Hz. You can see the results for yourself. You're now looking at a unique tractor mountable tool built by Savannah Global. This unit has five large blades and a heavy duty tractor is required to use it. It is actually a rotary brush rake used for ground clearance. The rotation of the blades pulls out dead plants by their roots. This is so that the land can be cultivated again or used for some other use. The machine can clear an area of 40 acres per day. Next on our list is Cone Crane's Heavy Duty Tire Lifter. This beast is built with 32 tons of forklift with a tire handler. These features make light work of lifting, rotating, and shifting up to 16 tons of a tire. Whether for maintenance on mine sites or in the case of stacking tires, the Cone Cranes provides all tire handling solution for mining, port, and intermodal applications. They have equipped it with the latest technology to boost productivity and performance. In short, it's incredibly amazing. You may know that Dubai is artificially built in water, but do you know if this machine did not exist at that time, it would be impossible to construct the tallest buildings on the sand like the Burj Khalifa? Actually, it's a soil compactor, used for the densification of granular material, so that the building would not sink into the ground. This machine applies tons of force with its hydraulic hammer. As a result, the vibrations are generated from the impact of weight onto the surface, leading to the rearrangement of the particles. Well, the compaction must be done for every building, but it is often required in areas subject to vibrations, such as earthquakes, loading, or traffic movement.
First up, we have Kojima Magumi, and this monster is actually the world's most extensive, largest grab dredging system. In a single scoop, it can lift 370 tons in its 200 cubic meters. The electric hydraulic system offers an enormous grabbing power due to its grab weight and hydraulic cylinder, far more than cutter section dredging. This machine can not only dredge soft soil, but hard soil as well. You can expect its cutting force, which is enforced up to 990 tons, and the performance with soft rocks is highly likely. It has two spuds on both sides. With them, it can be shifted without an assistant or push boat or anchor wire. While lifting up any weight, the machine auto-balances itself. Marty Group is known as a leader of tunneling, and the reason behind their success is simple. They have the right equipment for the right job. Here you can get a glimpse of it. The boring machine you are watching now is the heart of Marty Group. It's coming from the Belgian Tunnel in Switzerland after 3.8 kilometers of some heavy duty drilling. Last but not least, we'll be looking at one of the biggest wheel loaders ever built. It's the Komatsu PH L2350. It comes with an operating capacity of 72,574 kilograms. It can center loaded trucks with payload ratings ranging from 320 to 400 plus tons. The machine includes the latest safety features that meet the global requirements recognized by the leading safety councils of the mining industry. Significantly, its SR hybrid drive reduces fuel consumption by 45%. In addition, LINCS2 increases safety by preventing the operator from performing improper commands. Next up, we have another world record holding crawler crane, the XGC 88000. This mighty machine has made a successful debut by lifting and placing a 2000 ton washing tower vessel. 
The crane lifted and positioned the upper half of the tower to allow it to be welded to the bottom half at the height of 50 meters, and with less than 20 millimeters allowance between the two sections. This beast boasts three pioneering technologies, six world-leading technologies, and more than 80 national patents. Its total hauling capacity is 4,000 tons and has a 120 meter long boom. Up next, we have the Ford. This vessel was built in 2012 in China, but is now performing its services under the Maltese flag. It is used to install offshore wind turbine foundations and the installations of oil and gas structures. It can be equipped with a dynamic positioning system that automatically controls the position and heading of the ship using thrusters and an advanced control system measuring 217 meters long by 43 meters wide. It has a gross tonnage of 36,600 tons and a cargo capacity of 48,000 tons. It has four engines with a total of 18,400 horsepower and can reach a maximum speed of 14 knots. The MVF-5 is a Croatian-designed, self-contained robotic fire extinguishing system. When firemen are unable to approach a fire, this device can be quite helpful. It is very maneuverable, capable of rising into difficult-to-reach terrain and accessing isolated sites. Despite its small size, the MVF-5 can endure tremendous loads induced by fire and even explosions. The device has a 2,500-liter water tank and a 500-liter foam storage tank. The equipment, which moves at a speed of 11 km per hour, successfully extinguishes flames while maintaining a safe control distance of 1500 meters from the operator.
The land pack is a tractor mounted device that flattens out areas of soil. This is extremely important at construction sites where the existing dirt is weak or sloped, where soft soil can cause construction equipment to become stuck or even tip over. Thus, this device was created using large rollers that pass over the soil in order to pack it down. This packed soil provides far better support for the heavy machinery that passes over it and prepares it for the later laying of foundations. You are now looking at the transportation of a giant airport bridge structure. It is 200 meters long and weighs 5,100 tons. Mamoet had to relocate it only 3.5 kilometers away. Needing to keep it 14.3 meters high made the challenge extremely difficult. At such an altitude, a slight pull due to air could end the journey in an accident. Mamoet used 264 SPMT axle lines in a way that almost worked like four legs. It took nearly 10 days to complete. Meet this monster. It's a giant dredger built for all shallow water work. Generally, it is used for dredging, piling, and raking. Its robust body and powerful hydraulics enable it to crawl with its own propulsion system until reaching the water. Now it's preparing to jump into the water. Although the water master can swim, they use its firm legs beneath the water on the ground for stable operation. Once it gets ready, the operation can be started with a large selection of quickly changeable attachments. With this multi-purpose technology, the work is done cost-effectively and adequately. It removes trash and invasive aquatic vegetation by excavating and raking. And it develops riverbanks and seashores by pile driving. Watermasters can be controlled remotely. Its spuds give proper anchorage for steady and efficient piling, for excavating work, as well as for cable mounting. In this clip, you are watching the CAT 6090 hydraulic shovel, which is unique because of its two engines. This is so that one can drive the vehicle itself, while the other one can drive the hydraulics for its arm and shovel. It is one of the biggest shovels in the world, with a capacity of 104 tons of payload.
This next machine is the PH Electric Rope Shovel, a cable system excavator. Instead of hydraulics, its digging arm is controlled and powered by winches and steel ropes. It has no engine as it is entirely based on electrical power. The largest variety, the PH 4800 XPC, has a dipper capacity of 92 cubic yards and 122.5 metric tons. To bring back the F-150, it could essentially hold 3.5 whole F-150s in just volume. In terms of weight, it could hold over 40. In short, this machine can move a lot of dirt around very quickly. The Alps are the highest mountain range in Europe, mostly covered by glaciers. An excellent blower has been built to keep the railway going even in the winter. It took nine months for this monstrous machine to be constructed. 76 tons of steel are used for its body. Despite having a heavy frame, the machines operate to 100 km per hour and can be set up for rapid operation. It has two engines. One of them drives the entire machine, while the other is used to operate the blades. This spectacular machine ensures the removal of 10,000 tons of snow from the rail tracks in just one hour. Modern agricultural techniques require big tractors, large plows, and the latest blades. They do not only save time, but also cost a good amount of money. This heavy-duty tractor and its latest Lemken Veritiden plow mounted with hydraulic rollers are the future. The rear wheels of the plow provide stability and auto-adjust the ground level. But if you want to give a boost to your crop production, this machine definitely will be worth buying. The Fent Ideal Combine This combine is the modern approach to large-scale rapid harvesting of a field of hay or wheat. It quickly moves over a field and collects all the grains and dispenses them from a chute out the side. It's quick and clean, leaving nothing behind.
This machine, known as the RU-1800S, is one of the largest moving machines ever built. It is 580 feet in length. It's longer than the Great Pyramid of Giza. When packed with ballast and rafters, the train weighs about 650 tons. It removes the old track, changes the concrete sleepers, adds extra ballast, and even bolts everything together. Most of the work is done automatically. And that means RU-800S usually replaces two full kilometers a day before one. The Tiger Stone is a paving machine 6 meters wide, allowing a perfect street or road repave in one go. The Tiger Stone directly applies the edge finish. Throughout the final result, the stones are firmly locked between the curbs immediately. The road is all in one go, and no waste or scrap is on the road. You can pave 300 meters squared per day. Tiger Stone requires no cutting as it applies the edge finishing immediately. With this machine, you can process several elements at the same time. No doubt, it is a low maintenance cost and smooth operation. Liebherr has historically made some great machines, and the R9800 represents the pride they take in their work. This massive excavator combines flexibility and productivity to meet mining needs. Liebherr offers a choice between Cummins or MTU diesel engines, or you can select an electric drive to run this beast. The R9800 takes nearly 3,000 kilowatts to excavate with its 47.5 cubic meter wide buckets. You can move 800 tons with its backhoe attachment, while the face shovel attachment can hold 810 tons of material. Pairing it with some ultra-class mining trucks provides a cost-effective, highly productive mining solution for large-scale mining operations. The last machine to be on our list is the truly incredible Bucket Wheel Excavator. This is the largest machine on Earth, as confirmed by the Guinness Book of World Records. 
It has a length of over two soccer fields, and it is taller than a 30-story building. This mega monster was built in 1995 to excavate coal in Germany. It still valiantly does its duty to this day. This might help give you a sense of scale. That excavator, which is already quite large compared to a person, is dwarfed by the giant. Just look at the cabin of the excavator where the operator sits and you can see how that spinning wheel compares to a person. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Which of these machines was most impressive to you? Have you ever seen any of these in person yourself? Are there any other massive machines you want us to talk about? Let us know down below in the comments, and we'll see you next time on Lord Gizmo.